guys, we finally arrived in Corpus Christi, Texas, home of Selena Quintanilla. So basically we watched the Netflix series, we watched the movie, and we had some time off, so we figured we might as well fly out here to experience it for ourselves. Yeah, we want to see everything kind of firsthand. We wanted to actually go into the museum and visit her grave, pay our respects, all that good stuff. I mean, I'm half Mexican, so her story is super like interesting to me because she's a Mexican-American um, so just seeing all her success and kind of just seeing like where she came from you know exactly so. so we're excited to actually kind of be in her stomping grounds we want to see kind of some of the uh, memorabilia places and whatnot is that a word yeah memorabilia That's places a good word. well memorabilia the yeah. history story exactly. what have you so we're gonna go to her museum we're gonna you know, go see her grave, pay her respects at some point, yeah, um, just kind of explore. Because I hear there's a bunch of like little random things around town, so. Yeah, we want to try and find her house. Um, I know that there's a memorial somewhere down here that we're going to go check out. And, you know, if we if we run into some of her family at the museum, that'd be cool. I mean, I don't know what the chances of that are. I'm sure yeah. they've got a lot going on, so. Exactly, <laughs> but, but yeah. at the museum, we're not allowed to film video in there from what we understand but yeah. I think we can take photos yeah so whatever we're able to do we'll throw into the video but yeah. let's start our day let's, let's do it. it All right, guys. Well, we, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, we are just leaving the museum. We could not film in there, but we actually ended up meeting with Selena's dad and Suzette. Yeah. Um, Selena's dad, Mr. Q, took us on the private tour. We got to see the actual, you know, the old studios and the actual uh, museum tour, which we highly recommend. You yes. guys should come here, check it out. It's, it's only five bucks. Yeah, and it's worth it's it. So I mean, one hundred percent worth it. Yeah. Worth it. Um, Mr. Q showed us the. Uh, studio upstairs showed us some awesome songs that um, some projects yeah he's some projects on. he's yeah. working on and then we met with Suzette um, her sister yeah she yeah. Selena's sister is amazing you know her and her husband and uh, one of her friends showed us or told us about all the cool places to eat around here and where to get margaritas they're just like all the locals so nice very wholesome yeah I and mean they, they just, you can tell they love Selena oh, and yeah. they just everything they do is like with their whole heart and it's yeah. just it's it's a really an awesome place to visit and if you're ever in Corpus Christi definitely check it out it's worth your time 100% um, we took photos so we'll enter yeah. some photos in here yeah so so one of the photos with Mr. Q we're not gonna put on here just because he out of respect yeah, out of respect to, but yeah. with Suzette you know we can have a photo here um, but the operation here is amazing I mean Suzette does all of the business entrepreneur yeah. you know all the all of the uh, clothing merchandise. and merchandise, yeah. all that stuff. Whereas Mr. Q is kind of over the whole music side of it. But it was just awesome to see the whole entire workshop the breakdown, the operation of this whole place. Not to mention all the amazing stuff that were actually owned by Selena that are actually in the museum. Yeah. Um, we were able to take some photos in there, so we'll throw the photos in.
gift shop. Oh, I gotta show you where to go. Yeah. All the workers here are so nice. Yeah, everybody, I mean, everyone literally so nice. feels like family here. Yeah. It's incredible. So I got a couple t-shirts just because, why not? Um, so I got this one. And then I got this one um, for like a PJ shirt. It's like just the museum. Um, so I just got some like little souvenirs and I love them. <laughs> and I kind of wear them. Yeah. So we're gonna uh, go to a couple other spots and just pay our respects yep. at the end of the video. We'll go and bring her some roses mm -hmm. and just kind of enjoy all things Selena. Yep. <laughs> we had to stop and eat Whataburger because we've never had it before. Oh my. <laughs> All right, Selena. I had to do it. Wow. It happened. <laughs> All right, so we are approaching Selena's house right here on the corner with the white car in it. Um, it's so surreal to know that this was her house. Um, and then her parents were right beside it in the red house. And then the third one you'll see on the end was AB's. But um, yeah, this is where she lived. It's crazy. And then this is her parents' house right here. This is her parents right here, right beside her. And then lastly on the corner, this was AB, AB's house. So this house right in front of me, this is the house she grew up in, which is pretty cool to see. All right, well, this part's not as exciting or yeah. heartfelt or anything like that. Um, it's, Actually, it's a very sad part of this. Yeah, this is whole the journey. this is the hotel where you know basically everything went down. Um, we're just gonna kind of do like a recap and like Selena's final moments and all that stuff. Um, and we weren't gonna do this part, but we just we figured, feel like it's part you know, of the history. It, it's part of the history. Her, yeah. We're here. We might as well do it. Um, and so we'll just do like the full walkthrough of. Um, I get such a weird vibe I know, here. I just it, don't it, like it. I don't want to be here too long. Vibe. So we won't be here too long, but we're just going to basically show the final moments of Selena. Um, so here we go. All right, guys. So this is where everything went down. The vibe is really weird here. We just kind of want to, yeah, it's very heavy. We want to get this part done quickly, but we're going to do the exact walk through Selena's last moments, but. Uh, basically the door was open when she got shot and she ran out with the files that she got from Yolanda um, of course in a panic because you know of what happened and so she dropped the files about right here um, there used to be two palm trees right here they're cut down now but she dropped her cell phone right around here and then she continued on this path and there's a truck parked right here but she actually ran through because there was no cars here during the time when it happened, but we'll walk around here. Um, this is the pool. I'll kind of go back. So recap the hotel right there. The files were dropped there. The cell phone dropped there. Um, she ran through where this truck is parked and she dropped her purse right here. Um, in the photos, you can actually see that this curb is broken. It's still broken, but the purse landed about right here. And then she continued on this path right here. And this is a long distance. I mean, it's if you really look back, yeah. it's a long distance. It's a long ways to go. Yeah, especially with, you know, being shot in an artery. She was Your adrenaline's pumping. Yeah, so she was losing a lot of blood at this time. Um, she ran through here. Man, it's like the feeling is just overwhelming knowing we're kind of going on the last path that Selena ran and it's 
uh, I can't imagine like what she was thinking. She yeah, was thinking. I mean, she probably thought Yolanda was coming after her. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Trying to get you know, to a point where she could be safe. You know? Yep. So she ran through this path right here. And then she turned the corner, and then this is the lobby right here where she ran into to have the person call 911. She ended up passing out from all the blood loss. Um, but we're gonna get approval from the hotel to make sure we can film in there a little bit. Um, so stay tuned. All right, so we got the clearance through the hotel, but she basically came in through here. And then she ran through this door and right around here is where she collapsed and then the hotel um, person at the desk basically called 911. You can see that there's, um, you can't really see it, but there's some contribute stuff to Selena right over there, which is awesome with this hotel. Um, but this is basically where the final moments were. And then they took her to the hospital. And then over here, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. Um, but from the video, it looks like um, Yolanda, the standoff was like right here in Yolanda's truck. It was either in this spot right here or over, I think a little bit over here. Why was um, her car parked so far away from you? Yeah, I don't know. Because that seems weird that she would be parked this far away when her, her hotel room's on the other side. Yeah. If you look at the footage, um, when the news was talking about it, during the standoff, they were across the street over there. You could see all the SWAT team right here. But we'll kind of reverse walk. Um, so we got the lobby right here. And we got Crystal walking the path. This is where it all went down. We just had to show this part. We weren't going to, but we knew that we'd regret it if we went back home and we didn't show it. So It's, it's not for anything other than the fact that it's like part of you know, the, the story and the history of who she mm -hmm. is. And I mean, I really, I mean, I, I'm i glad we came here, but at the same time, like, it's just like, it's, yeah. like, I just don't feel good, like, being here, because it's just, it's so. Yeah, exactly, and especially after getting to know, like, her, her family, dad and yeah. Suzette at the museum and stuff, it's just, I mean. Like, my heart is, like, literally racing. Right yeah, now, like, my, I don't feel good here. It's yeah, not, the vibe's weird, it's heavy heart. Yeah. So. We're gonna continue on more of the good the stuff, positive. the positive end of Selena. Happy so, Selena stuff, yeah. Um, we're gonna go to some of her favorite restaurants yeah. that Suzette told us about. So, like, we've got a lot of really good positive mm -hmm. stuff um, that we would like to show you guys. Um, this is just unfortunately part of the dark side of the story, but mm -hmm. um, ugh, I don't feel good to get here. Yeah. So we're gonna now we're gonna go to her grave site just to pay respects. Pay respects. Let's get her some um, we're gonna get her some white roses, which was her favorite roses, but. We'll head over there. All right, so we just picked up some beautiful white roses from the Rose Soiree. And, um, These guys are really cool in there. We actually went to like a couple like markets and Walmart and no one had roses. And we we're like, what? So if you ever come to visit Selena's grave and you want to bring her some roses, this is the place to go. They're yeah. beautiful and they wrap them up so nicely and they didn't charge extra to do it. And they're really, really nice people in there. So. Yeah. This is the place to go in Corpus Christi to get some beautiful white roses. Yep. So next, we're off to Selena's grave. We're going to pay our respects. And sorry about the wind here. I'm sure it's windy <laughs> in the mic, but it is very windy in Corpus Christi. Yes, it so. is. And hot. And hot and humid. <laughs> Be prepared if you come out here. Be prepared. Alright guys, we are at Selena's grave, her final resting place. We got her some white, white roses. 
because it was her favorite flowers. And here it is. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. We had an all day of Selena here in Corpus Christi, and it was amazing. We got to actually meet her family, hang out with her father and her sister, and uh, yeah. Yeah, shout out to you guys. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to hang out with us and kind of give us some, you know, recommendations on restaurants and stuff like that. That was really awesome. Um, but anyway, if you're ever in Corpus Christi, make sure you check out all of the things in this video. Yeah. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, comment below. Anything else you'd like to see us do. But until next time, we're going to get some dinner.